Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Beyond the Present Podcast, the solo edition. My name is Daniel Mulligan and welcome to this episode dedicated to the Father's Day and of course the issue of masculinity in general. So first of all, I would like to congratulate this wonderful day to all the fathers around the world because obviously it's, you know, their day and uh, I would like to somehow congratulate all of them and to thank them for the effort that they make to raise the families and to contribute to their families. And today, of course, the major topic of our short discussion today is not so much so about, uh, you know, the Father's Day itself, but the issue of masculinity and the fact that we are unfortunately in a world right now where masculinity is under attack. And let me just explain a little bit what that means. You see, I have a lot of students, friends, contacts, uh, basically, and staff members who come to me and ask for certain questions regarding how they could be a good man. I mean, this is a serious problem. Like, imagine young people, men after men, they come and ask you, listen, Dan, I-, I got a problem. I don't even know what it means to be a man anymore. And I don't even know, should I do it right now? What's the manly thing here to do? And uh, this clearly shows a certain crisis that we have entered into in the modern world, and that is the masculinity crisis. Now, let me explain what that means. You see, unlike the uh, ancient times where uh, perhaps a young boy was born into a tribe and then uh, he would immediately have male role models everywhere. So he would go hunting, he would go fishing, he would go, I don't know, perhaps uh, work with the blacksmiths. And the men would oftentimes spend uh, a lot of time with other men. Uh, In this way, young men would have then learned how to be a man by simply learning from their male role models, from their peers that they spent a lot of time with. Unfortunately, in the modern world, things have changed a little bit. So most young men in their basically uh, critical uh, early years, they tend to spend most of their time with their mothers and not their fathers. Why? Because the father is out working Making, you know, making money and uh, trying to support the family. So oftentimes in early years, uh, especially in you know, the first 12 to 15 years uh, of a boy's life, he tends to spend a lot more time with his mother than his father. And this is, of course, one of the side effects of modernity, which unfortunately has had a a negative impact on most uh, basically young men's sense of masculinity and manhood. And that is why we need to address this issue. Of course, in this program, I'd like to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, this issue and how it will impact the young generation of men and what we could do about it to somehow resolve the issue. So first of all, when a young man spends most of his time either at home, I don't know, behind computer or playing video games and then physically encountering and, you know, and talking with uh, basically his uh, mother, then he will simply not learn to think like a man. He will simply not learn to be a man because he does not have what we call a male role model. You see, uh, oftentimes, I mean, if you look at like role models or mentoring, what it really means is to spend a lot of time uh, interacting with, asking questions and being in touch with a role model, to ask questions, to learn from them and to emulate their behaviors. But unfortunately, in the modern world, that's not possible because uh, these men, these young men, tend to somehow spend very little time with their fathers. And, uh, you know, what they do instead is to just go to school. And then oftentimes when they are young, most of their teachers are also women. If you look at like elementary school, the majority of elementary school teachers are women. So just imagine a seven-year-old, an eight-year-old, a nine-year-old who is at home most of the time. The father is out working. So he wakes up. Hi, mom. How are you? And he tends to spend a lot of time with his mother. Then he goes to school where he's then taught even more by other female teachers and, you know, at elementary school. And like he's, you know, at his prime, like he's seven, eight, nine. This is, this is the time when he is forming his personality, his basic behavior. And he's spending most of his time with other women. And this creates a certain problem. And that is lack of male uh, mentoring, lack of male, uh, basically role model. So in this situation, what happens is this gentleman will then grow up not knowing how to think like a man, acquiring a lot of feminine characteristics. That's why a lot of unfortunately men these days uh, ex- experience tremendous issues psychologically. They, they say things like, I don't feel very confident, or they call themselves super sensitive, or they, they uh, say things that if you heard from a guy, for example, 300 years ago, you would perhaps say like, well, what's wrong with this guy, right? And the answer is very simple because this person has no other you know, way. 
Any man, any young man who at the age of seven, eight, nine spends most of his time interacting with a woman will lack, you know, the skill and the ability to think like a man because he has no ability. And then guess what? The father comes home late at night or maybe in the evening after nine or, I don't know, let's say 10, eight, and then they start talking a little bit while watching TV. So yeah, there is a father here. I mean, we're not even talking about, you know, single parents, uh, basically who, uh, you know, single moms who are raising their kids all by themselves. But like, if you look at the amount of time that this young man is going to spend uh, with other women, that is uh, primarily uh, his mother and then his school, his school teachers at elementary school, it's uh, basically far more than the, you know, little time that he spends with his father. And this, unfortunately, tells this out of bounds. Because of this, in the modern world, a lot of men uh, are dealing with uh, masculinity crisis. And this is the root. People often ask, like, so what is the source of masculinity crisis? The source is childhood. Now, it is true that as these uh, kids grow older and become teenagers, uh, go to school, eventually they will spend more time with other men. Again, unfortunately, it doesn't always happen, but it happens in many cases. But by then, it's probably a little bit too late because... These early primitive years that they've actually gone through were spent mainly interacting with women. So they have acquired a lot of these traits on a subconscious level, you know, in their personality. And now they lack a masculine attitude towards life, a masculine way of thinking. And because of this, we're now seeing this crisis happening. So uh, as we've discussed the source of this problem. Uh, basically, now it's time to find a solution. So yes, this is the reason why men in the modern age generally lack a clear sense of masculinity. They acquire a lot of feminine characteristics that are oftentimes not associated with men and more importantly, make most men miserable and unhappy. So next time you saw a young man who seemed to be extremely sensitive or who seemed to care so much about what people thought of him or who seemed not to have that level of confidence or assertiveness, or more importantly, if you saw a young man who is in a relationship with a woman that he's not happy with, where the woman just runs all over him and just tells him to what this is what you should do and all that stuff. I'm sure you know such people uh, around you, the kind of men who are in relationships with women who basically are their second moms that they sleep with, which is just really, uh, you know, unacceptable. In this situation, you are seeing the result of masculinity, uh, basically, that is being rubbed off, of, rubbed away from these people and are not, unfortunately, there. So because of this, we need to solve this issue by teaching these young men what it means to be a man. And that requires mentoring. That requires them to actually spend time with other men. So when a man is in a relationship where he's basically controlled by his wife, let's say, what does that mean? That he's not a man. <laughs> it's just very simple. Because a true man gets into a relationship that is win-win productive, where both sides make their voice heard, and where he plays a dominant male role. But in the modern age, when that man has grown up in a, in a society where he spent, he perhaps spent most of his childhood with his mom and then school teachers who are also female, is there any doubt that he grows up, he becomes 25, 30, 35, gets married, and then sees like, oh, I'm so unhappy. My wife is controlling me all the time, and I don't know what to do. It's very simple. It goes back to your childhood. Now, this is, of course, a, you know, uh, a serious issue, I know. And it's not just about your marriage. It abounds, it's about almost everything else as a man. It's about your sense of uh, masculinity, your sense of dominance, your sense of self-confidence, uh, the kind of goals that you set for yourself. I mean, uh, is your goal, uh, you know, more masculine, for example, in terms of achieving things, getting results? and uh, realizing your potentials, or you have more feminine, basically, goals of being approved and being liked. And we are seeing a lot of these things happening these days in the modern world where people are trying, men especially, are trying to act like girls. So instead of trying to be focused on their financial success, they are focused on how well they are basically liked by others. Instead of trying to focus on really developing their abilities and their skills and becoming something more, they are concerned about whether people understand them or not. You see, these are all feminine qualities that they've learned as a child, you know, as a child with their moms. Because it is women who care a lot about being understood and appreciated. These are all feminine qualities. A man doesn't need to be understood. A man doesn't need to be appreciated. He needs to get results. And that's what makes him happy. But unfortunately, a lot of men don't do that. So they are imitating the same behaviors they saw from their, you know, moms and from their, you know, school children and are acting like wussies. 
And that's exactly why we need to address this issue by helping these men to have male role models. And by letting them know what it means to be a man, to be masculine, to have uh, certain qualities that we consider to be masculine in nature, qualities such as goal orientation, persistence, self-confidence, uh, qualities such as independence. It's very important. Oh, I don't know. I think my, my, my best friends don't understand me. Dude, please become a man. You don't need to be understood. You don't need to be approved. What you need is to get results. And trust me, once you get the results, you will also get the approval. But that's not what most men have been taught to do because there has been no man around to teach them these things. So now that we know the source of this problem and this crisis, what remains to be done, obviously, is for us to help these men to learn what it means to be a man. And that is why, fortunately, we have nowadays a lot of mentors and a lot of programs designed exactly for this, because a lot of men, they have to understand what it means to be a man. Now, since today, of course, uh, we just uh, celebrated, you know, Father's Day, uh, we would like to actually talk a little bit about this issue. And that is the first and most important thing that any man, any young man can do is to strengthen their relationship with their father and to learn what it means to be a man. Because unfortunately, most men in the modern world do not have a very close relationship with their father. In my seminars, in my workshops, I ask people oftentimes, uh, like the young man, so to which one are you closer? Arguably, in most cases, most men say, I am closer to my mom than my dad. This is a problem. You see, I'm very glad that you love your mother. And uh, it's wonderful because, I mean, I really believe that, you know, a mother is the first love. So I absolutely love my mother and I'm sure that you do as well. But as a man, if you only love your mom and you spend most of your time with your mom, what happens? You become a mommy's boy. And that, unfortunately, is what's happened these days. So... The first step that most uh, young men could do in the modern world is to strengthen their relationship with their fathers and to spend more time with their fathers. Now you're saying, well, what if, uh, I don't know, my father passed away or I have no access to my father? No problem. The second best, basically, uh, way to do that is to start spending more time with other men, especially more masculine men or mentors who will then help you to think like a man, to act like a man. So spend, ask yourself, how much of my time do I spend with males and how much of my time do you spend with females? If you're a guy, just ask yourself right now this question, how much of your time do you spend with men and how much do with women? And if the number is not balanced, that is, you do not spend at least as much time with men that you do with women, then there is a problem. You're saying, well, I spend most of my time with my girlfriend or with my wife. Well, I'm sorry. So you spend most of your time as, as, a, as a seven-year-old with your mom, as a 10-year-old with your school teacher, and now as a 20, 30-year-old with your wife. So you're spending most of your time with a woman and you wonder why you lack masculinity. Whoa, what, what, is, what, what a difficult riddle to solve. It's very simple. It's, it's, the, it's simple math, dude. So what you got to do now is to spend more time with other men to balance this thing out and to realize that yes, I probably need to spend more time with men to learn from them. Now, then again, maybe you don't have a lot of male friends right now because you've you know, perhaps been a bit more introverted or you don't have a lot of male, male role models. Don't worry. There are a lot of great sources also available in, in forms of books, seminars, workshops that you can actually use to you know, learn more about these issues. If you just a mere search on, you know, on Google will reveal lots and lots of resources for you actually to learn from. And to study and to be able to somehow know what it means to be a man. Because ultimately in the modern world, we're not taught, most of us men, because this program, of course, is aimed at men. And of course, we love all ladies. I truly appreciate all of them. Uh, but this program is designed specifically just for men because of the Father's Day. And if you're a male listener, please understand that you are living amidst a crisis, which is called the masculinity crisis. A lot of your unhappiness... And emotional instability is written not in your problems, but in the fact that you think not like a man, but a woman. And guess what happens? When a man thinks like a woman, he will experience tremendous psychological pain and problem because he is thinking in a way that is not in alignment with his body, with his mind, with his genetic code, and with his inherent instinctive desires as a man. And of course, that leads to problem. So if you are a man right now, and if you feel that you're one of the many guys who have lacked a male role model since a young age, then don't worry, you're not alone. There are many such men out there. 
And what you got to do from now on is to be able to balance this thing out through mentorship, through studying and reading, and more importantly, by spending more time with other men and learning from them and imitating them and understanding that ultimately a man should be a man. And that's an issue that unfortunately has not been taught so much because in our politically correct world of feminism and modernity, which I am a fan of, by the way, we have then somehow gotten a little bit out of balance and we don't understand anymore. Yes, it is true that men and women must be treated equally. They need, they need equal rights. They have to have equal, uh, basically, pay for their work. Equality is what I stand for and I support. This is exactly what it is. But being equal does not mean being the same. Being equal does not mean that every man should live like a woman and every woman should live like a man. No. Men should li- you know, live their lives according to certain masculine principles, which unfortunately now are long forgotten in the modern world, especially in the Western world, because I travel a lot. Now, in certain countries, when I travel to and I work in, I see that still that you know, uh, uh, male role models are still out there and men tend to act more like men. But in the Western world, primarily, we're seeing this crisis right now. And of course, for all of those men, I'd say start spending more time with men. Get male and masculine mentors, start reading and studying, and that will then allow you to hopefully get the most out of your experience. So uh, this is all the time we have for today. One thing I'd like to actually uh, congratulate the, you know, the Father's Day. It's really wonderful. And uh, I really hope that this short talk will then inspire the men to not only spend more time with their fathers, to spend more time with their number one male role model, that is their fathers, but to also take this issue seriously and start to invest in themselves, and to know what it means to think like a real man. Thank you very much, guys. Wish you all the best. If you have any questions, you can reach me on my website or on the social media, and I'll be glad to answer all of your questions. Until then, have a good one.